Hi, welcome back, everybody. Okay, so you can see soon these products next to me. They look like Brita, but they're kind of more fun. <laughs> and we're joined by Stephanie Schmidt, the co-founder and the creative genius behind Move Collective. And you started your business in 2010, and this is such an amazing story because your numbers and your expansion is unbelievable. So let's, I guess, start with where you got the idea uh, for what it is you do, which you can explain to us. Well, yeah, it's been, it's, it's been an amazing ride, and I think it's, it's a product that people really connect with and they see the function behind it as being something that's really they're necessary. They're water bottles, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, and they're and you know they're they're basically refillable and the the filter inside them um, you can change and people love that I think people you know understand that if so this has a filter in it too yeah it has a, this is actually our new product so this okay. is twenty four seven so this is just launched in the past two weeks okay and that's called the bobble yeah this B -B -B is bobble twenty four seven okay and this is different from our original bobble because it's it sort of got more of a durable function so it goes in the dishwasher and it's good it's got a, an attachable soft cap. So it's good for you know your gym bag as well mm -hmm. as your handbag. But, and you um, could fill it up from the water fountain or the the yeah your, your sink faucet, and your, your tap filter. anywhere. Yeah, so That's really a genius throw idea. it in your bag. It's really lightweight, so it's easy to carry around. And mm -hmm. um, when we launched the product two years ago, it was just amazing. I mean, I'd love to say it was us, but it was really the consumers. People just loved it, and they saw the need for it, and and they purchased it and it it wasn't only domestically but internationally it's been huge so yeah, it's, you're in 35 countries yeah now, it's and you're two years old yeah yeah it's it's incredible and um, I think I think what's really fascinating for me is I come from a like a creative branding background and I just love the fact that people appreciate design right. and they love brand and they love you know they they can see the the form of bubble is is beautiful and and mm -hmm. people you know I, I trust consumers in 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 their taste levels right. they they really love bubble. how much would that retail for so this guy's about to come out our product on the moment which is an 18.5 bubble it's it's got a um it's got a clear body and that retails for about ten dollars okay and then our set sort of our second baby which was the bubble jug which came out about 18 months ago um and this is it, it, it's similar in form, as you can see, like it's got a similar shape to it, but this one retails for about $20. And the smarts creatively around this was that you could filter your jug um, from the tap. You could mm -hmm. put it in the fridge, but then basically it's such a beautiful product that it could go straight from the fridge to the table. Right. So it was. It I know was, my, we have Britta at my parents' house, and my mom always pours the Britta into a pretty picture. Yeah. <laughs> picture for, you know, when companies over. Yeah. Anyway, that yeah. you wouldn't have to. Yeah, so and th and that was the idea behind it was that if we had you know if we had affordable design for people that mm -hmm. that they were able to like filtration was part of that that people would really be interested in it. Right, so. right. Um, so. I, where can we find your products? You said they're in Target. What other stores? Yeah, well, we've had such an amazing retail pickup in the States, which is fantastic. I mean, we're in Bed Bath & Beyond. Best Buy's picked us up, which is fantastic. GNC, Target. We love Target. Um, we're also, we started with American Apparel, so it's got such a... It's got what made you start with American Apparel? They actually that came to us. It was amazing. Did. Yeah, and the, the demographics for American Apparel was really interesting because I've got the most comments from people, from sort of, you know, the kids saying, I've seen your product in American Apparel. So it's amazing the retailers that have actually come to us and said this, this is a How fit. How did they know about you, especially when you started? Well, I think it's got a lot to do of word of mouth. And then it's, it's that amazing thing where I think, you know, I've developed a lot of products before, but I've okay. never had one. So you know one. what you're doing. But no, but I've never had one hit like this. You know, I've never had. I've never. I had mean, I'm reading your notes. In the first nine months of sales, your ten-person company brought in just shy of eight million dollars. Yeah, it's I think crazy. So many businesses. Yeah, and last year win. was. You know, last year was twenty-five million, and this year we're kicking again. And I think it's got so much to do with creativity and innovation. Mm -hmm. I mean, when we started with Bowl, it was a very, it was a very kind of straightforward category, and we came in and we really, we shook it up a little bit and. I think you know our our tagline is make water better, and I think it's all about the fact that there are so many products that use water, and so there are so many avenues we can go into mm -hmm. with this with this range of product. And I think that there's a real difference between a product and a brand. Right. And I think Bobble as a product has the essence of a brand, so people it resonates with people and people to connect to it. And I think our team has always been very focused on every single little detail for. Mm -hmm. The way we speak about it, the way it looks, you mm -hmm. know, the 
the, uh, the way we photograph it, the way we retouch it. We, we, just, we just believe in that, that entire essence because we think, you know, if people can see that, it, it, it resonates with people and people, and people love it. And, you know, and that's, you know, you open your handbag and you've got this amazing water bottle in there for $10 or it sits in your gym bag and it's, right. you know. So I know a lot of people are probably scratching their heads and saying, oh, if only I thought of that. Or what did she do that was so different? Why can't I get my business off the ground? So can you just take us through maybe some of the steps, the aha moments that you had in bringing yeah, your sure. idea to fruition? You know, I think um, I think with Bobble, it's been about you know, great. You, the more people you have on something, and the more creative and, and great ideas, um, the better the company. And we started Move Collective with the idea of, of what is Move Collective. So what, Move Collective was this mean? was it was this idea as we were we were we were like a small group with only a few people basically, and we needed to to build to a level very quickly. So we outsourced creative partners and we said to them, you know, help us develop something really special. So we got the sort of the best creative minds that mm -hmm. specialized around in Around your idea. Around our ideas. So, so you were Move Collective yeah. before Bobble. Yeah, well Move Collective is the parent company right. of Bobble. And the idea started that we'd have, you know, we'd have several different products and mm -hmm. this collective would get, would get sort of, you know, Kareem Rashid and his team to do the designing or we have got a company called Safari Sundays to do the creative and we worked with PR teams to do the media and we were, we were talking about really getting those minds that are best in their areas mm -hmm. and getting them to all contribute to this line of products or mm -hmm. that we were going to do and Bobble was the first one and Bobble just exploded and built into what it is today and I think I think it's it's having a, it's having a, a passionate team but finding the, the best people to help you along the way yeah that's yeah. that's really interesting so these are the same products right here that the three in the pink gray and blue yeah they're all the new bubble this you is new just yep. yet. Yeah, no, this it's available on the website. Okay. Yeah, but it, and it's it will be available in store sort of in the next couple of months. But it's 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 basically our latest newest. Would baby. you say there's um, or how there definitely is? How would you define the recent uh, eco movement? You know, bottled water is all plastic and it's it's so much money and conservation is in. How do you work into that green movement? I love that and that excites me and I think that that's a whole other innovation platform. I mean there are so many ways that you can get um, you can you can get sustainable with the things you develop and the ideas you have and it it I just love the fact that consumers are into that as well. Mm -hmm. now, I'm Australian when I moved to the states I think it was 5 years ago there was only a few products a few green products in the market and that's what you know. That's that amazing American story where now it's 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 in everybody's you know it's in everybody's conscious. Right. They they care about it and they want to you know they want to cut down on plastic um, plastic bags and they don't want to keep buying single serve water bottles and they mm -hmm. they you know they think about what happens to what what they throw away, and so I think I think it's really exciting. I think in terms of developing and branding, there's. There's you have so a many, natural market. Yeah, there's how, so many. Uh, how long do the filters last? Like, how do you? How often do you have to replace them? So the best way to look at it really is 300 uses, and okay. we've you know we've so we, once a year. Well, yeah, it, and that and that really depends on sort of how much water you drink. Right. I mean, another great thing about about Bobble is that so many people come up to me and say, "Oh, well, I'm now drinking so much water," and they're quite surprised. But but it's it's the it's that convenience of use. So mm -hmm. the more you use it, obviously. We sort of look at it as like a three-month period. Gotcha. Yeah, and then and then you sort of change it over. But you know, um, you can you can I, I I mean I use it all the time, but I can tell because it, it's sort of it the the filtration it's it becomes like you just you sort of not it becomes it, you know it's time to change it sort of thing. You can you can just tell. Where do you manufacture? In the states. You do. Yeah. Okay. So these guys are manufactured in the states, which is fantastic. Our jug comes from China, mm -hmm. and that's that's sort of where I've spent a lot of time. You know, close proximity. What made to you go uh, to China for the jug? Basically, just manufacturing capabilities. Okay. Um, it's you a bit. Is it a little cheaper there? Or? Well, it's a it's a bigger product. Okay. And one of the um, you know when we sort of develop products, we kind of like to hit sort of four different marks. So we mm -hmm. sort of we want to make it. 
We basically want to make it as, as beautiful as possible, mm -hmm. so obviously the aesthetics. We want to give it some kind of, um, some kind of functional difference or engineering difference. Mm -hmm. So obviously in this one it was filter it, as you go, it was that mobile filtration device. In the jug it was a fast filtration, so basically you can turn the faucet on and run the tap and it'll filter straight away, mm -hmm. which meant that like on other um, products in the market there's usually two reservoirs, which means it's it's a lot slower and you have to wait there and if someone doesn't fill it up it's quite annoying. So that was, that was the second one was having some kind of, um, some kind of innovation um, on it. Then it, was, then it was about the sustainable and then it was also about um, manufacturing in a different way. So for Jug for example this is a blow molded product mm -hmm. and we aesthetically really wanted to make sure that we had a hollow handle. Right. And that might seem like sort of nothing, but it really changed the design and look of the product, which is because most of them on the market are, are solid. Right. So they come in a solid color or mm -hmm. so so it was little it's little things like, like that, that that makes it yeah, different. That yeah, that we really think make the difference to yeah. the look. Stephanie, thank you so much for Thanks coming. Thanks for having on. me. Really very refreshing. Uh, <laughs> to see something so simple be yeah, so successful. Great. Thanks so much. Um, thank you. Okay. And before we end the show, just a really quick take on the on the